Welcome to the 235th edition of the Journal's That Was the Week That Was show, or what's happened in the Highlands area this week. Let's get started. The first Highlands Gospel Music Jubilee drew a big audience last Saturday at the Jackson River Sports Complex. Performances from Melvin Sneed, Crimson River, Narrow Road, and the announcers were given. Cancer victim Steve Miller was a beneficiary of many generous donations. A very bold burglar ripped off tobacco and vape products from the Royal Vape and Tobacco Store in downtown Clifton Forge on Main Street recently. Those with any information on the incident may call Officer T.A. Humphreys at 540-863-2513. The Concerned Christian Baptist Church announced that its homecoming would be held on Sunday, September 8th. Minister Trina Carter Edwards will begin the sermon at 3 p.m. The church is located at 1122 Cherry Street in Covington. The Allegheny Highland School Board held a productive session on Monday and got a demonstration from Sharon School teachers Liza Carroll and Connie Puckett on vocabulary teaching techniques. Many policy updates were supplied and Jackson River Technical Center Principal Josh Kraft updated the board on a number of topics. Video is now available on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Two Allegheny High School students, Megan Powell and Elijah Halderman, were recognized for significant achievements on Monday at the Allegheny Highland School Board session. Powell was recently named to the All Virginia Choir, and Halderman participated in the Virginia General Assembly's PAGE program. Video is now available on both on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Allegheny County Covington Sheriff Kyle Moore released a statement on Tuesday detailing his agency work with Oklahoma law enforcement officials to catch yet another internet sex crime predator. James Janice of that state had used the internet to solicit sex from both a 13 and 15 year old. Janice is now facing 25 years to life for his crimes. There are more details on this story right now on the AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor. On a car loan with a little get up and go? Our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates. Our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you. Jackson River Community Credit Union. We belong to you. Online at jacksonrivcomcu.org. We're federally insured by NCUA. We're an equal housing lender. The Democratic Party's candidate for the 6th District House seat, Ken Mitchell, was warmly greeted by a crowd gathered at the historic Masonic Theater on Tuesday evening. He declared that the district had been, quote, left behind in several regards. He indicated support for more rural health care and suggested that teachers and other professionals who would agree to serve the region should get educational support. Complete video of his talk is now on the Allegheny Journal's YouTube channel. Two Mountain View Elementary School teachers, Heidi Garten and Kelsey Nicely, attended the 2024 Elevate Conference in Nashville for preschool through grade two professionals. Both reported that motivational speakers and prominent educators presented information on reading instruction and similar items. There's much more on this story now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Columbia Gas Company announced Friday that beginning on Monday, August 26 through February 2025, it would begin replacing lines on a number of streets in downtown Clifton Forge. 
Work will take place Monday through Friday between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. and weekend work is also possible. There's more on the story now on AlleghenyJournal.com. The famous Statler Brothers' grandsons, Jack and Davis Reed, will perform at the Jackson River Sports Complex in Covington tonight, beginning at 8 p.m. Also on tap, beginning at 6.30 p.m., will be the new Standard Bluegrass Band. Video of the Reed speaking with the Allegheny Journal is now available on the Journal's Facebook page. An agreement with Beltway Capital has been reached that will prevent the sale of the Greenbrier's assets, Justice Companies announced on Thursday. In other Justice Company action, the attorneys for two dozen mining companies owned by the family said that they could not pay the remaining federal funds owed before the due date because of financial issues. The companies owed $5,130,000 in civil penalties, which were imposed in 2020, but failed to pay the remaining $579,000 in March of 2024. Smurfit Rushwalk Corporation has made a generous donation to the Wall That Heals Committee to support the upcoming display of the Vietnam War wall replica set for the Jackson River Sports Complex on October 3rd. And thanks very much for joining us today for our 235th show in this series. With more than 19,876 Facebook followers now, your readership is very much appreciated. See you right here again next week.